in 1963, I saw Baba at the railway station of town. I was passing from Jamalpur, Calcutta. He was coming, so on the I was there at the railway station and saw a big crowd and these things. So I just picked in. By chance, uh, Baba also looked at me when I was looking, and that gave me some special vibration in my mind, and that uh, was the link. So I got attracted to. After that, uh, I started attending Dhamchakra in the same town where I was initiated. But sometimes I, I was regular in meditation, sometimes I was not regular. But I was attending Dhamchakra. Then for study, I had to move to Calcutta. And here I didn't have any other company, a company. Just to go to school and come back, what to do? So I decided to follow up on God. And that, uh, then I wrote my Acharya, that well, how, can, how can I uh, get the contact of Ananda? And he wrote me back that on such and such day, Baba is coming to Calcutta come and see me at this Howrah station. I went to see him, and there I got the address of Calcutta, and also I could attend the first GMC in Calcutta. First. Attending of GMC, since I have been attending Dhamchakra or DC, so I knew in DC start Dhamchakra with Samshatam. So when I attended GMC, uh, last day when the GMC night was there, after Baba concluded the speech, then he started before Mudra. I didn't know what is Mudra and anything. So before Mudra, he started reciting some Shabda. Then I thought this is the time for meditation. So I closed my eyes, put myself in Padmasana and started doing meditation. All of a sudden I started big noise. Then I opened, what is the matter? What is this? Why there is noise? I looked at the dash, but I was not there, just a bunch of people signing life. It was very soothing and peaceful to me. Just, it lasted for a fraction of a second, you can see. And then it's a bummer. I couldn't understand. Later on, I asked Acharya, he explained the whole thing. So, was it long after that before you decided to think about long time? Long before that, I decided to become a Christian. But this happened in 1965, and I joined as a Christian in 1966. Okay, what was the vibration? Because I was regular in Hamchak, and rather in Calcutta, I was attending three places decent. So, one of the visiting Acharya in Calcutta noticed me. Also, and just come to my place where I was staying. So I was staying with him on my fa father's friend's house. The thing is, I was staying there. So he just came to my room and asked me, "Why don't you coordinate and uh, cooperate with me in so in the work of Anuman, cooperate us to do something for the humanity?" Now only I had, uh, before that I already had a personal contact. Right after personal contact, I whole my whole mental setup was changed. In my thinking, always Baba was there. I never again go. I was feeling that Baba is there. So when this proposal came, why not cooperate us? I said, nobody told me that I have to do this or I should do this. Then I said, okay, I will accompany you. And then he took me to Jamalpur and from Jamalpur to Baradas. In Baradas training center, I, I didn't stay even for a month. Yeah, next one, one month. Then uh, due to... Okay, continue. 
due to some family litigation at the training center shifted me to another town it's called Alava that time not the name of Alava that changed it Prayagraj and me and one other trainee were there a separate training center which started there for two months and then I completed my training so tra in training uh, just basic uh, tactic classes I mean philosophy of, of Anandmar spiritual philosophy social philosophy conduct rule on the web and when you in three four months I completed I should have completed in one month but it, uh, yeah, I did SPT in, not in Banaras, in Allah. Consist of uh, that uh, every day, only one dress with one lamota with inside, and one dhoti. I had to be whole day and whole night. And with that one begging ball, and go in the town wherever you want, and beg whatever you beg. Get it and you eat that. That was the process. So I used to go. Suppose if I don't get anything, there was a rule that the train center will provide some food if you get. But luckily I got uh, every time something and came back, cooked and ate those things for seven days. This training was uh, SPT was there. It was preparing the mentor for any bigger thing or I can say yeah, tolerance capacity increasing and faith in guru and ideology it was helping because when I was going in the town, some people used to go so young and still begging. Why is begging they are? I am not supposed to reply those comments. And only one case I replied, and that day I didn't take any begging from that house. So that was everything. Yeah, that is true. Humility is a part of sadhana. It comes up in it. It is part of conducting also. But certainly it brings humility in the mind. Yeah, I wrote uh, about my whole time of life. It is called Samarpan at the feet of Master. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was 1967. I was asked to apply for Abdhita. I applied. Mentally, I was thinking that whether I'm ready or not, such a big thing, but I applied and it was approved. And in the May, because there was a big DMC in Allahabad town, same town, where I, was, I had the training. I applied and then I took it. I became become Abdulta that day. But experience, you can say after, because before you take the oath of Abdutta, Baba taught the Kapalik Sadhana. And he put condition for three nights continuously you have to do in the prescribed place, but Kapalik has to do it. So we used to, we were the 18 people in that batch that initiated. And we used to go every night to the Ganges River, in the bed of the Ganges. When Baba was initiating, he said that this will help you to, you try, you, you, to control the fear 
hatred and fear. And then later on, he added that all the eight, eight factors can be controlled through this Later, and later in the Abdusa meeting, Baba added other five factors. All these, uh, all these factors, all eight factors are imposed on individual as a social involvement. I got personal contact with Baba. Before that, I was studying in Calcutta on holidays of winter holidays. I went back to my hometown, it's called Bhagwal, Bhagalpur. And from Bhagalpur, Jamal, we just hopped in our train ride. In plain clothes, they sent the police constable, not police volunteers, and captured the building and asked me to take care. And he handed over to me. So I started, restarted school when I was during Baba's time, when I was the SS of Cairo. I think in 87 or 88 March, reporting, in the report, when Baba entered reporting hall, he spoke uh, while entering. He said, where the SS of Kahinas and SS of Suwa, their work is not good. Ask them to come forward, I will punish. I was sat down and we came forward this last time. And that time from Suwa sector, Prithmut Dhanandada was represented. Though he was not SS, but he was he came to represent SS. SS didn't come at all. Acharan was the SS. And I was there. We both came forward. It's Sastang is there. Then Baba said, Yes, uh, my punishment will be in Suba sector, there are a lot of Kangari. In Kara sector, there are a lot of camels. I will convert one into Kangari and another into camel. So then Baba said that their backbone is, will start bending. And I felt some tension in my back. Only I'm trying to come. Then you can ask Vedudan and he can say. He's a little shy to say, but he can say this. He was. That he can say. And so then next day, Baba spoke that their mind. Uh, they will not be able to think. You know, animal cannot think, so might be a backbone will start bending. Now next day he said that he will not be able to think. And some thinking got affected. Then immediately Baba said, why are you change? To the, how I will convert them to animal? But you know, Human life is precious. He spoke a couple minutes or maybe one minute, very nice talk he gave, nice inspiring talk he gave. The, uh, the whole gist of the talk was that human life, one gets human life in which is great difficult and it is worth it to do something great. So they should do something great. Why I will change into animal? And what great? that they should do the service to the humanity and rise to purpose is the thing they should do. But he explained in a much longer way, this is the main idea of his speech. And then he told us that come on and he made us to sit on that. And it was easy for Baba I feel to together we said nothing, it was very easy for him him to make us to sit on his lap. Then he touched me in the back of my head. Then sit on that, lie down and do six lessons. Not if I said down lessons, not six lessons. And whatever time I did, that was the excellent meditation I had. Still I am looking at that is the sadhana. 
And I will say it was not a punishment, it was a pleasure. Single day. Then after that I got reposted to another town. Head over to another Dada who took charge of me. Then uh, he got released after uh, one year of uh, getting the building. But I was already in different towns. That was the big event, but uh, unfortunately I couldn't come when I was ready. Yeah, I was posted to United States. So, so what happened in one of the visa process which I was going through to get the visa for America, I used to meet Baba every day. So one night, sorry, one night, yeah, it was one evening, I guess, not night. It was another afternoon, four or five o'clock. I was alone with Baba in the in his bedroom. Then uh, he asked me, because I was going as a trainer of Intellectual Federation, proud of Intellectual Federation, as an assistant secretary of Intellectual Federation, so I was supposed to start a train with electric training center. So Bob asked me, where will your training will be, the training center will be? Then I said, Baba, wow, it is proposed in Chicago. Baba was lying, you know, lying position there. He just got up and told me, no, Chicago is a very big town. It will not be good for training center. Rather, he used a, a not good city, Baba used. But he had, I didn't mention in the book that. Good city. Uh, yes. Then uh, immediately he thought came I should ask Baba, so I asked Baba immediately, Baba, you please let me know. Baba said, no, I will not see. See that uh, how administrative discipline Baba will follow? I proved directly to Baba, we will find him. So he, he Baba told me, no, you ask you in charge. That was Baba's reply. So our this proper system. If he says it is final, but he asked me to go through so this is all, all administrative segment he maintained. This is my lesson to me. Yeah. Then after a few seconds of gap Baba said three points he said. He said that find a small town, use the word town, not city. And then where good number of margins are there and open space. And on that basis, I selected a place in Los Angeles, Hills in California. There is an open space, an acre of land, big bill. And that time, there were good number of markets. That was the second biggest unit in USA after Denver. It was certainly it was different, but I didn't feel any 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 new thing for me. I just easily got adjusted. Only one problem was coming. To understand the accent, it took some time for me. Yeah, it took some time. So I had to ask one, two times to understand what they are talking. It was different cycle. But my job was teaching no more. So I was not so much conversing with people. I used to study and present to my students. <laughs> In Dharamsamiksha, it was June 81. So, we were informed that the Hanusik Secretary is taking place, you have to come. I came, and then uh, next day I, I appeared before the Hanusamiksha. During the Hanusamiksha, Baba looked at me, he said that your conduct, conduct is okay. He didn't say good, he said not bad. So, but uh, you are lazy, I'll say. So for that, he punished me. And then after that, punishment, he 
sky me two asanas to me from directly and the rest asana was told that Bijanan will teach him. So two more Bijanan he added later on after Dhamsatcha in Japan. But next day also I attended every day, started as long as I was in Kankata, every day attending that Dhamsatcha so of other I was watching. So during next Dhamsatcha I will say it is an important thing about to which I liked very much. So he was telling one Filipino Dada who came from Berlin sector, his work was not good. So Bhav was dealing, dealing, dealing. And then after, at the end of the uh, conversation, Bhav said, why you are not able to do work? What is the reason? Why your work is not good? Then Bhav told one statement he gave. Statement was, that if you do 95% of sadhana and 5% of work, you will be able to do marvelous work had ever been done on this planet. It's the exact thing Baba said. And that I cannot forget in my life. Then Baba added, why you will go to the public? Your sadhana will attract them. And then in my thought came, I was sitting in your room, you are attracting the whole world, how can we do that? That was the sadhana is there. Actually, Croatia must in it. Uh, what happened, I went to the Croatia, there was one Margi, and rich, and that time, Baba already gave the program that we should have master into every region. So I was talking to the Margi, then he said, okay, I will give my land. He took me the land, and so this is the land. Then I came to Calcutta and reported at this land. So he didn't give you know, which was just a, he didn't give anyway, some other way we go. So then I reported the report, came to Baba, Baba was very happy. He said, and then uh, after reporting, he, he gives the, that time he used to write uh, about the countries, the way of living, culture, style, everything. So Baba gave dictation about the Croatia. At that time it was Yugoslavia, it was continuously divided. So Baba commented that, you know, Marcel Tito was my friend and he had invited Anand Mar to come and work there. But Anand Mar was not ready, so I didn't send, but invited. That was his comment. I will tell you about this more. So, so what happened that uh, Baba dictated the whole what should be written and it has some, then it's supposed to be published in the Nutun Pitsuri Bengali newspaper which Anwar published. published. The next day it didn't publish. And he called P and said to the why you didn't publish this? I put so much labor. And he said, why Baba I will publish? There is no master in it. Internally, worker were no knew that there was no master in it. And Baba got angry. Baba said, No, I say there is a master in it. And that gave me the, then I, I was forced to find a place. You know. So, what happened, luckily, there were two Margi, they got a lot of money from gambling. And from the, they agreed to donate, and from that money we bought a mostly the present mostly. Then, then during that same uh, reporting, no, still there was no land, nothing. Baba called me, not inside but outside of the room. Vijayananji, Sarvatmanji, and I was there. And Baba started asking questions about Croatia must be and he asked almost 22 questions. Where from, how far it is from Zagreb? One of the questions. What is the population of Yugoslavia? What is the way of living of the people in that area? What religion they follow? What is the uniform of the ladies in that area? 
or the girls student go, goes to the school, do they go by the bike or by bus or by... And what religion they follow? What is their food is their habit? Yeah. So in this way, 22 questions Baba asked. And I don't know by his grace, successfully I answered all those questions. For example, he asked what is the population? I said Baba 25 million. Okay, Baba accepted. So in this way, then later on I found out that it is out close to that 25 million. So then he, uh, all question and answer happened, ended. Then Baba announced, okay, today is the day of Cairo Essence Nitya Sultana. So in that, uh, after that, in afternoon, there was reporting. Any reporting, Baba didn't take any report. So today, in his place, I will not scold him, not punish him. And <laughs> on 21st uh, October, 1990, I took plane from Cairo to Mumbai. Arrived early morning, 22nd, and I came out of the bathroom at the Bombay Chagrati. Did an assets of Nairobi came with a newspaper. And we found out Baba left body. So immediately we both went to the airport, bought a ticket, flew to Kankar. <laughs> After six days, he has to be cremated. So I was one of the five dadas who were selected to do the cremation process. So the whole process ended. So what one new thing which I didn't mention in the book, I can say here. That uh, it is secretly, I took one small piece of bone of Baba's body, kept in my pocket, thinking that I will keep it with me. Get it some attachment with Baba, no? Because I was burning Baba's body. As it was there, I could do anything that time. I was part of the process. So I took it and kept it and kept this in safe here. Inside there is a safe, you know? I kept it in one. And then after two days I looked and still I'm not able to find in that safe. Where that disappears is the mystery to me. I can what is is a mystery. And he was always with me. I was there at that time of Kairo sector. So I kept in Kairo sector room. It is a mystery to me. So since I was there and I was regular in Sadhana, I was inspired internally. So I decided I should go see Baba. So in January 66, I went for personal contact. And I got a personal contact, and that, that was really inspiring. That's what I said earlier, that after the personal contact, you know, my whole mental makeup changed, and I was always with Baba. And what more I would say, during personal contact, after introduction, he asked me my name, my Acharya name. Was me. Then he looked at me and said that, uh, he said that you have done some mistake, but you have repented it. That's why I will not punish you. But still, he pulled my ear. And that was just a uh, very softly he pulled it and said that. Then he took some promises. Promises he always found personal, I cannot say here. Promises. And I'm sticking to the promise. I try to stick to the promise. What I made to my guru. Yes, I can say. What was your feeling when you were there with him in personal contact? My feeling that uh, I can say completely surrender. I feel that I am meeting with my father. I can say. And so I had a very intimate feeling. And whatever you are asking, it's a loving question. We're coming with love, and I was trying to reflect honesty. Everything.
That was my first posting in 66, 67. And it was winter when I went there, I had to go. And then, then do, do, should I stick? So from, I didn't know how to go, go though, so I likely took train from Delhi to place the capital of the, that is state in Simla. So all the tickets were bought here and I took to change the train one place. Name the station where I had to change is called Kalka. From there, I had to change another train, which is a narrow gauge train which goes through the hills. And that was a beautiful ride I had in the train, and finally I reached. And then uh, after I reached, I didn't know where to go, I didn't have any address, anything. So, just I, I since I had a big three, four blankets because of the whole place, so I took one coolie, a porter, who took uh, and asked him to take me to the, it's called Dharmasala, place where the tourists come and can stay. So, there was one nice Dharmasala, I went and he took me there and I stayed there. You can stay with minimum money. No, it, is, it was not a hotel, just a uh, tourist escape. With minimum money, I stayed there for three, four days. I, and there I met one dana, another Vidranan, I remember, no? he was the first dana, and he guided me what to do, what to do, where to start. I am still obliged to be my guest. Yeah, at that time also, every two months there is to be report. And from Bombay, I, I used to travel to Ranchi. Ba, that time Baba was at Ranchi due to problem at Anand Nagar. Baba had to be seated to Ranchi. He was there till 71. So, I used to come for reporting. Then Baba moved to Patna also, there also, as an RSI used to come report. Then I, I will say, it was not only report, it was just meeting with Baba. And Baba, since he, Parampurus, he used to guide and do the work and is a satsang, I can say, satsang, real satsang is a sat, uh, company of the Parampurus. So it was real satsang. It was not a, any punishment or a reporting. And whatever punishment, whatever thing, it was just rectification. I think with me, only one time he was tough. That was my personal experience. Other way, other time he was always very nice and sweet with me. I he was not only so one time what happened. There was one worker in my region. Baba called him, and a stage came. Baba wanted to. I felt that Baba will expel him. So, in support of the worker, I spoke something, and Baba became very angry. He he wanted to just uh, treat this worker who was a kind of indiscipline in a strong way. But I I tried to prevent Baba in that process, so he became very active, angry with me. And I said, then, I said that, no, then you keep this worker with you, I will not deal with him. So then I got soaked and I will do myself. And then, oh, then continue up. Yeah, that was, I can say that was a, my administrative mistake to complain any Margie whom I am looking after to my supervisory or to my Baba. That was a mistake. But Baba as an administrator had to act on the report of the subordinate. So, 
a situation came, I had to report, uh, ask what are the difficulty you are getting in this. So in that difficulty, I said that I am not getting cooperation of this person. This person. So Baba reacted and said, expel that immediately. But General Secretary, Service Ranji was General Secretary. He was clever enough and he managed the house. I will take care of it. Her, her, we don't explain. So he managed that. I can see that's why I say it was my administrative mistake. And it was my process of learning, which I didn't mention in the book. This sentence. Oh, yeah. What happened in the same year? Baba organized one meeting. Sorry, it was 1971. Baba, uh, the worker who came in our years, he organized one meeting in his house, in his room there. And then he spoke something about, and then gave a world program what to do in world program. So he said that to get it implemented, this program, I have to be strict in administration. Can you give permission to me? Oh, he asked everyone to think in And by seeing the nature, I thought Baba will start beating or what. So, in my mind, there was a feeling that Baba certainly you can be strict, strict but be like a potter. When potter hammer the hammer the pot which potter builds the, the clay clay pot with the hammer and su give support on the inside of the pot. So similarly, please give support when you become a stick so that I can continue my life and work. And he looked at it, I mean, when it is still came, and that was relief and place to place to fall. Yeah, I can say a little bit nervous. But uh, I will say there was a guidance of Baba, so I was not worried. I was supposed to fly on 2nd of March 1979 from Calcutta to USA. So on 1st or 2nd, I think 1st of March, Baba was flying from. Calcutta to some other town in Bengal for DMC. So we all went to send him off. So when at the airport, I wanted to ask some question to Baba. Then I, 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 I approached bodyguard and can you ask Baba that I want to ask. So he, he just told Baba, Baba sat down, I came close to Baba and Baba's body got told that Baba, he want to say something. Baba didn't ask, uh, allow me to say it. But I had a question in my mind, there were three questions in my mind. The first one is that uh, I don't know English so much, how I will adjust, it, how I will communicate. Then Baba immediately, without asking this to him, he said, don't worry, we are going, language is a media of communication. You know how to communicate, so don't worry. Then second question was in my mind, how I will adjust with the new, we have like new culture there. So that also we said that, don't worry, you will adjust, I will be there. And third, I forgot one new question. So. Yeah, before emergency, maybe six months or even year, one year, the surveillance police in looking after animals. I use the word according to the pronunciation. Surveillance, surveillance, so increase in all the different activities of surveillance increase. <coughs> So I was 
स्कूल टीचर और प्रिंसिपल इन टाउन इन पंजाब इन ऑफ द टाउन इन लुधियाना गुड स्कूल मोर देन टू हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट आई हैव सो एवरीडे पुलिस और इंटेलिजेंस पर्सन यूज टू कम एंड इंक्वायर डिफरेंट थिंग डिफरेंट वे एंड कीपिंग आउटसाइड वॉच so the i knew that something will happen in brief i can say that uh, in the month of july they have been arrested from the school and they took me to the police station at the police station in the night big police officer of the town of, of that district came and tried to integrate me and to ask question to me in terms of any anyway, ask question to me and they were rough in behavior and in a scolding way they were asking <coughs> then uh, then the uh, many child the police no ask me what you are teaching that i explain the whole thing in 10 minutes in english everything and that gave a big impression that you oh, were very educated and the next day they were talking much with phd or and they were speaking and it was easy for me to speak english because we talk philosophy in the other conversation may be difficult but philosophy is not easy for me to speak in english so and that gave impression so then after that whole attitude changed and uh, and the police uh, head uh, who was there he wanted to learn meditation and i taught him meditation but i didn't teach him the mantra as prescribed acharya sutti because i know he is not uh, what he is just uh, wanted to know the inner thing he will not do meditation so i teach ram ram what to do yeah after baba ji really this Baba Ji released that, that was in second of August 1978. He was released, but I was released earlier than that in 